Hi, uh, we are the team of Mela Systems and Softweek. We are very happy to present for the first time our exoskeleton called ExoM. This uh, project has been uh, initiated by uh, GRGN in France, our elite uh, SWAT team. And it's a joint development with the Canadian company Mawashi, who is in charge of the uh, exoskeleton. And we in are in charge of the full uh, ballistic uh, protection on the body. And, uh, the project has been financed by the uh, agency AID uh, uh, of defense in, uh, in France. The principle of this system, it's a product dedicated for SWAT team, especially for breaching for the first men who face the most dangerous uh, position in a, in a column, in a unit. It can be also applicable for uh, special operation military teams. Uh, so here we have a full ballistic protection for rifle from toes to head uh, against Kalashnikov AP uh, bullets uh, or a variety of, um, of threats scenario which are the, the highest which can be found for light weapons. So the full body is uh, protected and 70% of the weight is uh, transferred. We have up to 50 kilo which can be transferred to the body and the ergonomy and the fluidity of the movements uh, uh, are the responsibility of the exoskeleton structure. And I let my colleague uh, Etienne speak about it directly. Hi everyone, Etienne Amoureux from Mawashi. So yeah, the exoskeleton is a passive exoskeleton where uh, it basically mechanism capable of transferring the load that normally carried by the shoulder. And that load is carried through uh, an artificial spine in the back, allowing all movements because it's articulated. And that transfer of the load is also carried by the, uh, by the belt, by the waist belt, uh, as such as a rack sack, and then transferred to the leg structure. And, and on the leg structure, we have the plates all, uh, installed directly on that structure so that load is up the low carriage is optimized and then on the ground there's the sole right beneath the sole of the shoe and the foot of the, of the operator to transfer that load to the ground at the heel region and the exoskeleton itself allows for let's say 99 percent of range of motion that the operator needs to do while transferring that load uh, in an up straight position the load transfer can be up to 70 percent so meaning that on a, 50 kilogram load, uh, the soldier would feel only 30% of that load uh, in a standing straight position. Uh, benefits are reducing over time pain in the lower back, knee joints, and all joints in fact, and especially being fully operational when, when it is possible uh, to make sure that there's no, uh, there's no pain, there's no uh, numbness in their fingers and such, and such things. So, yeah, that, that's about the exoskeleton. Um, that's it. Okay. The product will be commercialized from 2026 after the finalization of all the, the last uh, trials uh, in uh, air, sea and land, uh, thanks to the cooperation with GRGN.